Hello YouTube, how are you guys today? Well, I'm doing a pretty good today. I'm going to talk to you guys today about YouTube's copyright issues of all sorts of different things you can't use. I went to IDOL on the 27th on Friday on June 2014. Apparently they had music playing in the background and YouTube decided uh, we're going to block my blog in some of the different countries, even including here as well. That was very interesting to me. But I didn't realize it was music playing in the background. The issue is, I'm not going to be able to turn off the sound on my camera. I'm not going to turn the mic off. I want the mic on so I can record sound. But, hey, I'm not in control of that. That's mostly uh, YouTube's copyright claims, and that's also uh, most of the artists who will also block the uh, blog from being played in certain types of countries. Now, saying if you're doing uh, testing out certain different types of equipment, say your stereo equipment, uh, your DVD uh, player, your TVs, uh, you can't do none of that. How the heck are you going to do that if you can't even to uh, listen to and record at the same time to make sure your equipment is actually working like it's supposed to? Now, I got some things over here on my computer desk I will get into a bit. But say you want to test out CD players, DVD players, VCRs, cassette tape players, and also your stereos and speakers like that on your own type of equipment to see what's going on to help own people out there. But sadly, you can't. My speakers, I have three uh, blogs, uh, been blocked by YouTube's copyright claims. But, hey, I'm learning now, guys. I'm trying not to put any type of copyright material out there, like music video or game content. But that's what the issue is with most of these companies nowadays. This is now 24. It has music on here. I do love to listen to music in case if I want to test out my equipment or my TV to see if the speakers are working. But I can't do that because if I have sound in the background of my videos, simply the producer who made, or the artist who made this type of CD will actually block it from being played on YouTube, but uh, YouTube will still keep your video on YouTube's site, but most of the other people around the world is not going to see it. Same thing if you have a video content like this one. This is Black Flash. It's a very good uh, movie as well. I can't use this to actual test uh, DVD players out with. It's just so annoying, but that's the way it goes here, guys. That's even the same thing uh, with games. Uh, this is uh, NASCAR 2008 uh, for PlayStation, by the way. Uh, two uh, very old game items. I just, it just frustrates me. I can't use my music or my videos to test out something I need to test out. Now, I do not own the license for the music videos and game content. The producers, they do own the rights to block the content of the music being played in the background. Say if you are testing out your equipment, say uh, one of your speakers are bad, how are you going to know which ones are good and which ones are bad? You can't just listen to it silently. You can't just cut out most of uh, the sound. Uh, some type of editing program you can use. But I did fix my blog, uh, the one I went to Idol. 
I took out some of the audio by using some of the audio functions on YouTube. But that's just so crazy. I didn't realize. Oh, I got music playing in the background. Mm, not good. Uh, you know, it's just the way it is, you know, guys. That's the way uh, YouTube is, I think, going for now on. Uh, it's not very good. I really don't like that. I mean, I want to test out my equipment. And also, I want to blog if I'm at an amusement park as well. How the heck I'm going to tell the person at the amusement park to turn the music off when I'm doing a blog? I can't. I'll just have to edit it on my computer and remove the sounds of music. And that's terrible. And most of you folks actually would love to listen to music and see what music can be played in the background of videos. But it can be done but you can actually get in trouble for doing it. To play any type of music, video, and game content as well. It's, it's tough though guys. It's tough being on YouTube itself. And it's also very tough of having the type of fun you guys would love to have. But using your equipment or going to your music but by the way, that video uh, blog is now fixed. It may not have uh, video uh, audio in it, uh, music audio, but it will still have audio of the sounds of different effects uh, in YouTube and going uh, on the blog itself. But hey, I can't, I'm not in control of that, guys. I'm just the producer of my own content, of my own. Uh, videos. You can't use any own type of copyright content on YouTube. It is a pain and a butt, but that's just the way it is. I don't know how to even control most of the things I do. What, like, okay, I do a, a video on my equipment, but I can't have sound on it. I can't have the radio on, I can't have my CDs being playing and the CD player or my cassette tape being played on the cassette tape anyways. But some people just are so god dang rude, they will actually force you to one, block your video, two, delete your video, and also three, to get rid of the copyright claim. What the hell that, what the heck does that even mean? What is a copyright claim? Copyright claim is you have to go through all these loops to actually get permission from the single 20 artists on this one CD to actually use the type of song It's what's on the back of my CD. Yes, I went out and bought this. I own this. But I don't own the rights to actually post it up on YouTube and say, hey, let's listen to uh, the whole album. Can't do that. You have to do it. It's a trick to this, guys. Uh, it is a trick. I got away with this a couple of times myself. And on YouTube, was got away with this themselves. Is you just put it as a small clip. That's a very short uh, clip. Uh, they're not going to tell who the claim is it going to be by. Uh, by the artist or the music production of the CDs themselves and the video and game playback. I mean, it's just terrible. I don't know why everybody is just uh, complaining so much about copyright stuff you can't use on your videos. Now, if you guys are all making uh, your blogs, Make sure you do not have music playing in the background. Make sure you do not have games playing in the background. And make sure you do not have uh, movies playing in the background of your blogs yourself. Now, most YouTubers uh, will de get away with that because they somehow get permission to use it. Some people don't. I just don't understand it. 
Alright guys, uh, it's nothing else to more talk about this uh, claim issue on my blog. Make good blog uh, videos guys, produce your own music, produce your own videos, and you won't have any issues on YouTube at all guys. It's absolutely less crazy. Alright guys, if you are joining this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please, please like, please show, peace out, bye guys. Well, I hopefully see you in the next vlog. Peace.